iOS 16 is gonna release to all iPhone users or most iPhone users in a couple weeks and it's a really good update. It's currently in beta right now if you wanna try it out. I've been using it on my iPhone since early June. It's a really good update. There's a lot of good stuff in there. But the one thing I wanna talk about today is the new lock screen. The new lock screen in iOS 16 is a fantastic addition to the iPhone and helps you make your phone feel more like you. And I think that's really awesome. So I'm gonna show you how this works because as soon as you get iOS 16 installed on your device, you're gonna to wanna to set this up because it's a lot of fun to play around with. It's just a nice little customization feature. So let's jump into how it all works. Okay, so from your home screen, just long press on any empty space and you're gonna be brought into this new interface where you can create a new lock screen. So let's just hit plus. And then it's gonna give you some featured options. So there's an astronomy one that's really cool. It shows you a live view of the earth, or you can select the moon and look at those. You can also do the full solar system, and these are all in real time, showing you kind of what these look like at the moment. So this is really cool. Uh, we're gonna get out of there. There's a weather one that'll show you the weather for wherever you are. So it's currently just a sunny day with some clouds, uh, but if it was raining, snowing, it would show those. You have an emoji one. So this is really uh, wild. You have these different patterns for emoji that you can do. So for example, I could get rid of these and I could just do exclusively like hearts and those and that and this and oh God, it's chaotic. Uh, but you can do like some crazy emoji things here uh, if that's your jam. Uh, they have some colors that you can select from. Uh, so you can go ahead and select any of these and adjust the hue and everything. This is actually really cool. They have uh, some dynamic ones. Here's a pride one that'll animate when you unlock. And here's kind of just like the stock iOS 16 wallpaper. There's a photo shuffle that'll shuffle between the photos that things would look good as wallpapers. Uh, again, here's the weather ones, the emoji ones, the collections, and the colors. So you have all these options, but I'm just gonna select photos from up here at the top. And it's gonna suggest some photos at first. And so just for example, let's select this one. So. I can go ahead and start making some basic changes to this. I can swipe to the side to make it black and white. I can make it a, a duotone image and I can do a color wash on it so you can kind of stylize your photos however you'd like. Um, I'm just gonna actually get out of there. I'm gonna show you a new wallpaper set that I've put together. I'll put a link in the description. You can purchase it if you'd like. Um, but I've got some wallpapers I created, and let's go with uh, this one just as an example. So this is a wallpaper that I created for uh, just myself and I'm making available. Um, and you can pinch to zoom to kind of scale things around. And you can also make a few changes. So you can see these kind of boxes around the date, the time, and this new widget section. So what can you do here? So if I tap on the time, I can actually choose what font to use for the time. I can change uh, to a different style of number as well. I'm just gonna keep it uh, the normal. And then you can pick a font. So I'm gonna go with this one. And by default, it picks a good contrasty color, but it gives you some suggestions for other colors you could make it. And again, just like those colors we saw a second ago, you can tweak like the intensity of it. Or you can actually do a whole color picker, and then you can pick any of these colors and make it that. Or you can actually grab this eyedropper and drag it around, that didn't seem to work, drag it around the screen, there we go, and select, okay, now it's gonna match that purple, get out, get out, and there you go. So that's actually a pretty good look. The one other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some widgets. So these are brand new in iOS 16. You can add widgets. Currently there's only Apple ones, but once this is released to the public and is available for all developers to release apps with widgets, uh, you'll see a lot more here. Uh, but these are basically just like uh, what you have on the Apple Watch today, right? So we can add some, I'll actually add just smaller ones. We'll add the temperature, my watch battery, uh, my activity rings, let me get my phone battery in there as well. And so you actually don't see how to do that right away, but I'll show you kind of how this works. So let me organize these, go out. And what I can do is I can actually tap on one of these. There we go. And then instead of automatic, make it my phone. There we go. So anyway, you can tweak the settings of these a little bit. So now I have a look. I have the colors that I want. I have the font that I want. I can go ahead and hit the photos button down here to change this if I'd like. So maybe I wanna go with this. Maybe this is more what I'm looking for. It actually changed the font and everything back for me. So I wanna keep that font and let me change the color. Let me change it to a green. So let me slide over here. Go ahead and grab the eyedropper. Boom. Now I've got a really good look, I think. So I'm gonna say add. It's created the lock screen and now it wants me to know what I wanna do with my 
uh, wallpaper on the home screen. So by default, it's gonna just blur this image. So I can just set as a wallpaper pair and it's gonna do that, or I can do customize home screen to decide what happens on the home screen. And so again, I could just use the average color if I'd like. I can use a gradient that's similar to the image, or I can just use the original. I can use a completely different photo with this photo button. And then again, I can unblur it. So if I don't want it to be blurred on the home screen, I can do that. I'll leave it blurred just so you can see. We'll say done, and now it's created. So if I just tap it again to go ahead and look at it and then swipe up, there we go. That is the new lock screen and wallpaper, how those work together on iOS 16. So that's what customization looks like on the iOS 16 lock screen. There's actually more updates to the lock screen. Uh, notifications come up from the bottom instead of the top, uh, which I actually like a lot. I think a lot of people will like this. Uh, apps are gonna have the ability to give you persistence notifications that are more active and live and let you see more information. Um, there's a lot more to talk about here. Maybe I'll make some more videos on iOS 16 once it actually comes out, but hopefully this was a good primer on what you can do with the lock screen in terms of customization. And if you liked it, hit the like button down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.